Termite and pest control for apartment owners is what we're talking about today on Termite Talk. I'm here with Andy Clarkin and Alan Ferguson. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming on the show from Conquer Termites Northside. You're welcome. Always a pleasure, John. Now, apartments, a little bit less termite bit more pesty. You know, what, what you, what's special about apartment owners? What should they be vigilant about? Um, okay, well, uh, yeah, clearly, I mean, there's, uh, even in apartment buildings or apartment complexes, there are you know, there are common areas uh, which need to be looked at, John, from a termite perspective, because... But that's not directly responsibility of the owner, is it? Uh, no, it's more the, that's more the, uh, again, the body corporate of, mm. of, of the apartment building, if you like, or mm. the apartment complex. Um, but individually, uh, you know, the apartment owner, um, you know, needs to be aware of that, uh, but also pest control. Mm. You know, uh, we build houses, structures, apartments for for pests. You know, uh, you, there are spaces in walls for they get into harbour, a harbourage. You know, it doesn't matter how well you clean your, your your kitchen. There are always tiny little food scraps somewhere that will attract mm. the critters. And, uh, and you've also got in apartments and units a lot of people living close together, so mm. oh. it's not just you that can make the mess. It can be the neighbour or, or somebody else that can uh, draw pests to the house as well, oh, or to the okay. unit. So. And that's the thing, it can, yeah. the trouble can be just right next door, right yeah. on the other mm -hmm. side of that wall. Yeah, exactly. Indeed. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay. Yeah. So now how about the, in terms of that, that common area thing, because I think you call that, so you guys are there to do pest control predominantly. If you go out to an apartment or townhouse unit, those sorts of things, flats even, you're going to do a pest control in that property, but it's really even the, that common area, that body corporate, where the termite stuff is is key, yeah? So you, you call out for your apartment owners and that sort of thing to, you know, make sure the body corporate's doing their job, yeah? Yeah, potentially. I mean, it, you know, it, it, that's, that's the, it's the responsibility of the body corporate to ensure that there are, you know, they're not uh, creating conditions, conducive conditions, or conditions conducive to termite infestation in the property that, that abuts your apartment, if you like. Oh, yeah. All right, so if, because if they come from the body, you know, that, that those common areas into your apartment, well, you can then pick a fight with the um, with the body corporate. No. It's not necessarily what we want. We want to fix the problem. Yeah, you don't want so those sorts of things. It's ultimately the end game of this sort of thing. You know, apartments and unit ownership are, you know, investment-wise, there's always a bit of a questionable game about whether you're making money or losing and that mm, sort of thing mm, from where mm. I stand, but that's not always the case, I'm mm, sure. But mm. um, if you're going to protect your investment as a property or apartment owner, unit owner, mm. then making sure that not just you, but the body corporate and everyone within the complex is pulling their weight in terms mm. of pest and termites, yeah? Very much so. So that it's a, it's a cooperative thing mm. rather than it be like... I, I, I use this, uh, this analogy sometimes... Uh, you know, you can you can cooperate and things will run along quite swimmingly, or you can you know can treat it like you know the worst kind of uh, unhappy share house uh, <laughs> where things just don't just don't work well at all. You know, cooperation uh, hmm. ticks a lot more boxes. Yeah, I mean, probably even would be worthwhile in being a bit vigilant around the grounds as well, like mm. that timber decking around the pool, Andy. I mean, yeah. What are the sorts of things that property owners, apartment owners should be looking out for around the grounds, you think? You yeah, well, I mean, yeah, some, some have got like pool complexes and or, you know, mm. pools in the complex and stuff like that. Um, sometimes just the pool shed, you know, there'll just be a little um, oh, mound. Oh, enclosure. Yeah, so there's, there's not just the units themselves. Mm. Uh, and we, we have one of the complexes that we did. Um, they're actually coming up into the pool shed. Oh. And... It was actually, I think, picked up originally by one of the tenants mm. um, who was just in the pool and just noticed something didn't look right, pointed it out to the body corporate, and the body corporate then gave us a call and said, hey, we need you guys to come out and check it, and it was like... There you go, so, it's that vigilance yeah. by the actual mm. ownership or yeah, the owners yeah. within and, the and complex. And then contacting the body corporate as soon as they thought something wasn't right, you know, mm. and getting, getting that communication going. Because ultimately, if damage is done in the common areas or, or they flow on into the complex, that's a, I mean, someone's got to foot the bill to fix that up, yeah? Mm. Uh, none, of these thing, none of these things uh, are fixed for free, John. So, you know, the sooner you, the sooner you get onto it, the smaller the, the, the problem, the smaller the cost. Mm, okay, there you go. Oh, well, that's some good advice around that sort of thing. So if you're actually living and owned within an apartment complex, townhouse, units, flats, 
there's obviously a couple of things around pests, but a little bit of vigilance around the yard or around the complex is probably a good thing and good reason to get the, the body corporate to give it to guys that conquer termites and all sort of cool, yeah? How do they do that again, Alan? Uh, 3356-8801, John, and you'll get straight on to Conquer Too Much Northside. Okay, I think he said that a couple of times. Andy Clark and Alan Ferguson, thank you very much for coming on to my talk today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, John.